Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You didn't realise I started filming then, did you? No. <laughs> um, so, right, I feel like the house updates have been literally all over the place at the moment because such is life. Um, so we have painted the kitchen. You guys may or may not have seen that. We installed our pantry units. The rest of the kitchen is still waiting to be installed. We're waiting to get some quotes back to see if we're gonna get someone else to do it for us, basically. So we've kind of been um, sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. Obviously, the ensuite's done as well now. Um, so we thought, let's start tackling the lounge. Mm. The enthusiasm's not fully there from either one of us, but... <laughs> I feel like we have a bank holiday weekend. We yeah. had a nice chilled out week day yesterday. We did. Um, so we've got like two days to be semi-productive. We haven't got any expectations to like get it done done. But I feel like if we no. start it, we need to finish it. Oh, okay. Well, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we can't use our lounge. There's no expectations to be done done, but we need to Well, like done, done. there's no expectation yeah, to yeah. like do it all this no, week. for sure, for sure. Um, so, I can't remember what I showed you guys last. So like this wall's painted. <laughs> that one bit of wall is painted because obviously that was the fresh plaster. Um, little trip back in time in case anyone's new here. We did have a kind of glass partition wall there. Really old school, not very cute. We removed it, we built the stud wall. We actually got a plasterer to plaster the stud wall. But I feel proud that we built, we built that wall guys. We did that. Um, and we had never done anything like that before. So we're proud of that. <laughs> but we definitely got a professional to plaster that. As with the ceiling as well. It has all been plastered. It got plastered a while ago actually. Um, so it's been like this with the lights hanging out for so long. Ready for us to paint. Um, but yeah the rest of it. All the wallpaper's been stripped. But obviously as you can see we've got those cracks and things like that to fill in. So that's one of the things we're going to start with today is just filling in all of the cracks, sanding, all of that really, really fun, exciting stuff. And I actually have a new paint, a sp oh my gosh, paint sprayer to try out. We splashed out on um, a, be a better one because we're going to do our fences. It's raining today, so not today, but... We're gonna spray our fences. We've got quite a few rooms that we could use it in. So we thought we'll splash out and get like a decent one um, that will last us a while. So we're gonna try using that. Um, first things first, are you bringing the paint sprayer in? I didn't know if you wanted to show it and talk about it. Well, I mean, there's not really much to say. It's a paint sprayer, Ooh. but it's got one of those like professional nozzle things on it, um, which is just way more hardcore than our last one. Um, and it's got like a big hopper that you can just pour. But you could pour like five litres of paint in there rather than our little handheld one. You could only put like, I don't know, 500 mil or something in it. Um, but yeah, first things first, we need to get all of this out of here, don't we? Yeah. So this is, these are all of our feet, feet, drawers, drawer fronts, all of that for our kitchen. And then behind it is the worktops. So we're just going to move these into my office for now, um, just to get them out of the way. And then we could put the worktops in the kitchen. Um, yeah, and then we're going to get started with this room. As you can see, I've watched Encanto this morning. Um, we also need to like remove these curtains because they're up on a batten as well. So lots to do, but I'm hoping we'll at least get one mist coat done on the ceiling today what do you think yeah i reckon that's possible yeah lovely stuff right i'm gonna help steve now okay guys so here is the not very exciting progress so far obviously as you can probably hear and see the room is completely empty apart from the tv we've not taken that out yet um what have we done we have filled in that crack down there um, the button with the curtain rail thing has come down. Steve pulled that off. I have a couple of holes to fill in up there. There was a little bit of wallpaper under here, so we stripped that. There's a couple more like little cracks and stuff, so we filled those in as well. I've got a couple more holes um, where the radiator was attached to the wall because that just shows you how big the radiator used to be under there. But anyway, um, I've got a couple of holes to fill in there. Um, 
And then once that's dry, we're gonna sand back these bits where the cornicing was, cause it's still a bit bumpy. Um, sand back any of the filler once it's dry. <sighs> and then we should be able to start painting, which is the exciting bit. Can't wait to get rid of all these like 50 shades of beige um, because they are not the one. So yeah, that was the update. It took about half an hour to do that, not very long. Okay guys, so first use of our sprayer. I will link down below the exact one that we have. We had a couple of hiccups getting it um, set up, but I think we'll chalk that down to user error. Yep, we picked the wrong nozzle. We put the wrong nozzle on it, so we had a couple of issues. But once we went, got going, right, so this, this room is quite big. How long did it take me to do? 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, like, this room, granted it is bigger, <laughs> took me like hours <laughs> with a roller. So this is like revolutionary. Granted that we've only used it with um, watered down emulsion at this point. So I mean, we'll yeah. Feedback we'll, we'll yeah. Paint, I'm sure. We'll properly test it and try it out. Obviously, we're gonna. We've got to paint like the brickwork and everything. So. Hopefully that's gonna make the process so much better. I mean we did a quick test on this wall and it's so so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good coverage. Yeah. Again, that's just a missed coat, so it's watered down, that's why it's a bit, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Um we're gonna call it a day for today. We're gonna do another mist coat tomorrow morning. Yep. And then in the afternoon, I think we're planning on proper coat painting the rest of the room, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we need to go to B&Q and get a proper primer for the brick, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we've never painted a brick before, so we might just go and just chat to someone yeah. at B&Q and just ask. Even then, that's not horrendous. Like, it's yeah. not great, but it's not like... <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be worse. I know that's obviously like spray off the ceiling, but I thought that would... I think it's just more like longevity, a bit like sticking to the brick. Sure. Um, so yeah, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon. We had hoped to have gotten more done today, but we had a slow start, didn't we? Because Steve slept until 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we didn't like, I don't know. There's just things like we forgot that we had to strip wallpaper there. We forgot that there was like loads of cracks under that window. We forgot how much needed to be sanded. Like Sanding every, is such a pain. Yeah, everything takes longer than you think. So. Tomorrow we're hoping that we can just crack on and literally just spray, pretty much. Yep. We've got a couple of bits of sanding to do, but... The plan is, be back in this room, everything back in here, watching a movie tomorrow evening. Yes? Sure. I think, I think that's a little optimistic, but let's, let's aim for that. That sounds yeah. nice. Right, well, I'm going to go jump in the shower. Um, also, uh, ignore my grubby nails, but... Far, far cleaner than using the roller, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, if you look at the windowsill and everything, like, there's, I mean, there's dust. <laughs> but, like, there's hardly anything on my hands. Whereas when we did it with the roller, I was covered, wasn't I? Oh, same. It's like all up, it was all up your arms. And stuff. It's horrendous. But this was far, far cleaner to, you know, deal with. We've just bagged it up so we could literally just turn it on and go tomorrow. Um, anyway, I'm actually done now and I am going to jump in the shower. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys from my echoey lounge. So, ceiling um, has had two coats of mist coat now. Steve got up this morning and just really quickly did another one. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. Still got our lights in the baggies because we obviously need to do a normal coat now. Um, we've just popped being key, got a few bits. I'm going to quickly show you what we got and then we're going to kind of crack on just doing more stuff. <laughs> so here's our little B&Q bit. Um, as you'll be able to see that there is a hole over here because there was this nasty um, 
lovely yellow vent there because we have a ventilation brick there um so that is one of the things that we picked up while we were out um so we got one of these which is an adapter so obviously we have a square hole in the wall not a round one so i think that just kind of literally pops in like that and then we got this vent to go on the wall i specifically wanted this one because the vents actually like close whereas some of them are like open i was worried about um drafts and stuff actually i don't know if that is the right one that is external oh, i think i got the wrong one okay anyway i'm gonna google this more i think i got the wrong one um got some cuprinol garden paint natural stone because there was a bench left in our garden um when we moved in here so i'm thinking of painting that natural stone with contrasting black fences so this is the main thing that we actually needed Leyland trade all-purpose primer for wood metal plaster and masonry because i'm going to do a coat of primer on here before we actually paint it we've never ever painted brick before so who knows um but i thought it'd be safer obviously to prime the wall first so we're going to do a coat of primer and then um obviously just our normal kind of like interior emulsion um i'm gonna actually paint this one with a brush because i don't really want to put primer in our brand new sprayer because primer tends to be a bit like glue so plan now i'm going to attack the fireplace with a paintbrush and then steve is going to go round. i don't know if you can see um there's still quite a lot of like rough stuff up where we ripped off the cornicing so he's gonna go and like chip off any extra bits slash sand it down or whatever so that we're ready to do another coat so plan is we've got to do well at least one coat on the ceiling of normal paint and then at least two coats on the walls of normal paint we're not going to get this done all done today um because we need to leave drying time because this primer in particular takes 16 to 24 hours to dry. So we're not going to be able to get our furniture back in here today like we had hoped. But hopefully it won't take too much longer. And obviously like the sprayer is just speeding things up so much. Right guys, this is where we are at so far. So first coat of primer has gone on the fireplace. I don't think we're gonna do a second one. You can kind of see where I've been running out of primer, but there is gonna be a big sideboard there. So I think we are just gonna wait for it to dry and then just go in with our normal emulsion. Steve has sanded literally all the way around. You're doing a really good job though. Thanks. 
you're nearly there, you've only got like this little so bit. To do. I still need to sand like the rest of the wall, like the lower bit. I did this wall yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, cool. So you just got to do under the window, really? Yeah. Above the window and under the window. Yeah. I need to strip the wallpaper from around where the vent fell off. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Power through, Steve. You can do it. <laughs> I'll check back in with you guys when we're doing something a bit more exciting. Okay, guys. So, the room is painted. You're not meant to be in here, boys. Um, so, I didn't film when we were spraying because obviously expensive camera and spray paint not the best idea um but you guys get it the room is now white so obviously this is just one coat the ceiling has now had two mist coats and one coat so i think hopefully we might need to do a couple of little kind of touch-ups but hopefully that should be it so obviously there are some kind of like cracks and just like unevenness that we missed so, but now that it's like one colour, it's easier to kind of spot those. So plan for tomorrow is basically to um, fill any tiny bits that we missed, sand it, another coat of paint. I think we're going to need to do maybe like two coats on the fireplace. But it's nice just to see it all like in one colour at the moment. Ignore the brown window, obviously that's going to change. Um, but yeah, a little bit more to do, but we're getting there. Okay guys, so... The painting is all done. I'm filming in here because it's far less echoey. But in total now we have done two mess coats on the ceiling, one normal coat and like another like little touch up coat. We've done two coats on the walls, a coat of primer on the fireplace brick area and then two more coats of normal emulsion on top of that. Um, and I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to put in some footage of what it's looking like. I think it's still drying a little bit. I haven't checked it. Um, but it is looking so much better. Just getting rid of all the horrible like scuffs, dents, having it all one color is honestly just so much nicer. Like I said, it's drying. I need to wait for Steve to get back later so that we can move the furniture back in. Um, my to-do list before we move stuff in actually I need to cork loads of like the edgings and stuff. Um, I think that's it. I might need to do a couple of little touch-ups on the fireplace. I also ordered some tiles to do the hearth of the fireplace and I will be painting the inside of the fire, um, like the opening, is that the word? The actual like inside of the fireplace will be black. So I've still got that to do not urgent obviously we can do that when the furniture is still back in there i've also got a date for having our kitchen installed now so that'll be happening soonish um and then once that's done we can get all of the flooring in which is gonna be oh, so much better because it's honestly really really difficult to clean the floor as it is now like we can only really hoover it we can't mop it and it's just constantly dusty so that's the one thing that i'm like dying to get done asap but baby steps we are getting there i hope you guys have enjoyed this video bit of a random one just lots and lots of painting but i've been waiting to get that fireplace done for so long if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and i will see you guys in the next one